and welcome to Tonic Studios. I'm Karen and today I'm here to show you our brand new craft kit, Harvest Moon Affections. So this month we've got Harvest Moon Affections and what have we got in this box? Well, we've got all sorts of beautiful autumnal themed goodies. So you've got some Nouveau products, obviously your dye and stamp set, a lovely array of um, cards and paper. So let's have a little look what's in the box. So this is what's in the box. We'll start with the papers and card first. We have got some absolute booties here. So we'll start off with our classic cardstock. This one is one from a, a, a normal range, even though most of this kit is a little bit of a sneak peek for the upcoming trend. But this one is this one is one of our, our normal ones. So we've got classic card in candy red, which is a beautiful shade, absolutely beautiful shade there. Then we've got a brand new one. Now this one's called Ginger Pie. And it just it just complements the whole kit. It just complements each other so well. So we've got Ginger Pie. That's another one with lovely basket weave texture. And we've got that one there. So we've got, now it is difficult to show you a mirror card, as you know. So we've got the beautiful sheen on this one. It's called Baroque Rose. It's another one of the brand new ones from the Harvest Moon trend. So we'll pop that one down. We've got another nice one. Now this is this is one of our normal ones again. So we've had this one before. It's copper mine, but it's a favourite, you know, and it goes so well with this. My fingers are all sticking together with those. So that one's copper mine. So you can see that lovely sheen there. We'll pop him down. We've got a lovely pearlescent. It's called coffee cream, and it's got a lovely sheen to it. Very, very nice. When we come to the, the Nouveau in just a second, there's a drop that matches it perfectly. So it, it's just all well collated, all, all done so nicely for you. So that one is Coffee Cream. We've got the Speciality Paper here. It's got a lovely um, hexagonal texture. So a bit like a beehive, like the, the nice honeycomb texture there. This one's called Royal Garnet and another brand new one for you. Our speciality card is Sienna Treasure. We've got a nice sort of um, lined, you can see them there, just the texture in this one. It's lovely, it's very, very nice. And something you can use just as a background, you know, you haven't got so much pattern that it's gonna overpower anything. So that's your speciality card, Sienna Treasure. And then we've got a good old faithful Welsh gold. It's got a lovely rich effect on it. And that's our last of our cards. So that's Welsh gold. So if you can see those here, I'll just bring them forward for you. I'm gonna pop that out of the way. Look at this, look at the colour palette. I'm just looking at it on screen as well here. It's beautiful, absolutely. They all just match so well. But you've got your pops of colour just to just to highlight that. I think that's a really, really nice one. I'm just gonna pop these just out of the way there. And we'll start on the Nouveau. Don't forget, it comes in a nice bag. And I've seen so many people using this in their projects as well. We don't waste anything as crafters. Use it all up. Right, shall we start with... You know you always get two out of the set of four. So there's always going to be alternatives. So this time, in this little kit here, because, I mean, we just get one from, from the from the stock room here. So this one, I've got Midsummer's Gold Glitter and I've got Autumn Blaze, which are the little sequins. And they have such a sheen to them. Absolutely beautiful. And then you've got a lovely gold glitter. For so that, they're gonna look really nice, aren't they, in your, in your little projects that you make. So those are your, Confetti secret. You may get 
a slightly different one because there are options, you know, there, there's four separate ones. So those are the ones we've got today. We've got a glimmer paste. Now this is an exclusive for the kit. It's an absolutely stunning colour. It's called Frosted Birch and you're not going to get this anywhere else. So this is a kit exclusive. So we know how, how you love your glimmer pastes. But you can see the colour there. It's very, very close to that beautiful um, pearlescent card as well I was showing you. So that's a nice one there. Put them to one side. We've got Golden Honey, which is our glitter marker. And you know how many ways you can use these glitter markers, not just straight onto your cardstock. Obviously, you can pick it up with a water brush and things and give yourself a nice little washed out effect with them. So that's your glitter marker. We've got Malted Milk, my favourite biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Always my favourite biscuit. So you can see there, Malted Milk. Is gonna give you is it's just going with the the lighter shades in your in your paper pad there, so that's a lovely lovely little sheen on that one. And this one is one of the classic crystal drops. So pop him to one side. You've got Rumba Red. That's a lovely uh, that's a lovely name on that one. Rumba Red. So it's a very deep burgundy reddish uh, color on that one. So nice ink pad there. Obviously the Nouveau Hybrid inks. Um, you've got an embossing powder, which is called Medici Crimson. It's only, it's only teeny tiny. I can't really show you all that well because you've got the plastic in the way. But that's your Medici Crimson. So again, it's very much like this rumba red. It's very deep and burgundy and it's beautiful, really rich shades. And to top it off, we've got a ribbon. So we've got some organza. Uh, this it's a lovely, lovely shade again, and it, it's all matching this this beautiful uh, burgundy. So you've got that that nice sheen on it as well. I think you can pick up. Oh, look at that! That's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, you've got some ribbon to finish off on your cards as well. So that's your Nouveau. Pop it to one side. Would you like to have a look at the Harvest Moon book? Uh, it's 24 sheets, six by six, double-sided, all patterned. Um, it's it's lovely for your fold backs. So you, you know, you can use it for layering as well, obviously, but very nice for fold backs and things because you've got another pattern on the other side. So we'll just flick through this so you can see some of the patterns. That's the other side of that one there. Let's have a little look. Because you go, so I just, just, shall I go through and find them? There we go, that's another one. There's a lovely uh, beigey colour on that one there with the, with the interlocking circles. And we've got some nice patterns here. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's keep going through, find another one. So obviously you've got multiples of, of each in the book. Oh, that's a nice one. You've got some wavy lines there, that's lovely. Which is another nice one, and on the reverse of that, you've got that there. That's pretty, isn't it? Very nice. They're just all so lovely. I mean, it gives you... So, oh, look at that. That's really rich. Oh, look at that one. Well, on, on the the reverse of that you've got these lovely little teeny tiny leaves which are beautiful so that's your that's your book and this is 160 gsm paper so it's nice it's not it's not your floppy paper it's you know it's a nice quality paper as well so i'll pop that there and now we're going to look at the main event the dye and stamp set this month you get a binder again, so just to keep all your all your bits and pieces in. So you've got your binder. I've got mine already in. So let's have a little look what we've got. Obviously, here's your sticker. Harvest Moon Affections. Beautiful. Put that there. This is quite a substantial die set. 
they're all going to fit because it's it's the craft kit all of these are going to fit in your big shot cut the so the smaller the smaller die cutting machines so you don't need an a4 plate machine for it but it is it is quite substantial for uh for a kit you know to have the one big die like this so on this on this sheet here we've got two of them so you've got a main outer edge which you can see going around then you've got the one it's also got a cut line so you cut the the frames they're like interlinked frames but inside as well you can see you've got all these different little um embellishment pieces and sentiments and there's so much in it and then on the other sheet as well we've got some layers that will fit inside and more wording more sentiments more little um little embellishments you've got lots of little hearts and and all these little these little pieces here you've got all these little tags and frames and oh it's just fabulous i can see these used a lot in scrapbooking any of your memory albums i mean that would make a beautiful page absolutely beautiful if you cut out all your little photos because you've got so many little layers you've got a layer for each piece here um so you can pop some sentiments in some photos any scrapbooking, any uh, memory albums, anything like that. I think it'll be fab. But our girls here have made some beautiful cards with them as well. But not only do you get your dies, obviously, you get your stamp set. So shall we have a look at that one? We've got, again, plenty of wood in. They're all going to fit inside. I mean, you can see all of these will all fit inside. All of these uh, little... There's something for everyone. So they've, they've all been tested in the way that there's something that'll fit around every single sentiment. So if I pop them up just for you to see, perhaps a little bit closer. We've got so many different wordings on there. There's friends and love. And th is this, there's just so much on there. You and me. Nice little ampersand. Got to be an ampersand. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's plenty of wording on there for every single... And every single thing you could want, I think, to be honest. You've got some you and me, some hugs and kisses, some hearts, and a gift. Oh, there's one that says a gift, which is lovely. So you can make this. You can make a little wall hanging or make a little gift for somebody that, that you that you love and somebody in your family. There's strange times at the moment. We've all got so much to be thankful for. Should we have a look at some cards? Our DT have made some amazing things. Should I go forward? We'll be all right. Uh, we've got so many. I'm going to bring some in, first of all. And then we're going to go through a few of them. Because some of the girls have done some totally amazing things with this. And there are some things that I wouldn't even have thought of. Absolutely wouldn't have thought of. I've got one here from Kate. And all of those little layers that I was showing you... What she's done, oh, hang on, I've taken, I've taken up my space. Let's put you here. What she's done with the layers, she's made them into little leaves. I just think that's amazing. So she's used the paper from the pad and used them to cut the leaves as well. And she's used, I mean, the, the life is just an old dye that we did oh, years and years ago. But she's used Celebrate out of the kit and she's used all the papers uh the, there's your ribbon she's got the ribbon there on the side of her little tag and she's made these leaves just out of the layers which i think is absolutely ingenious that's fabulous well done kate i really like that one we've got one here from christine and what christine likes to do is cut them down so christine likes to make a smaller card like this so it just goes to show that it doesn't matter if you have got a bigger die set, you can just cut it down. You can cut it down to fit whatever area you've got. Christine's cut hers down, trimmed it down just to, to meet the size of card that she wants to make. She's used the paper here. She's got a lovely torn edge on the paper here. So I'm sure she probably just wet that to get that to tear away. And she's uh, she's used a lot of the sentiments and with the goals and the 
creams and the it's, it's beauty haul absolutely lovely there lovely one there christine thank you we've also got a little teeny tiny tag from christine as well and that's using the biggest piece in your die set but she's just popped a little hanger on it stamped some hugs and kisses and use the glitter card and it just makes it so opulent, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I've got one here from Shilpa, which is all layered. And she's what she's actually done, because you've got that outer edge, that separate outer edge, she's made her card blank from the outer edge. So you can see here, she's brought the card down. She's used a folded card, brought it down inside that top edge of the die and cut the card blank from the outer edge and then layered everything on top of it, which is absolutely beautiful. And inset some of the pieces back in, look, see, in, in the same colour, which is lovely. Just gives you a lovely effect, but the you've got the glitter card and, and everything on this one as well, which is beautiful. So it's a lovely one from Shilpa there. We've got another one from Kate. Kate's made a lovely shaker. So we've got some acetate here. On the uh, on the shaker, so she's got her um, little confetti and sequins inside on a shaker, and she stamped some words, and she has die cut some pieces to put in. She's used the paper pad. She's thrown everything at this one. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kate. I'll take another one here. This one is Ruth. Now Ruth has used a section of it. So you can see there that she's she's trimmed some away and she's just used a section of it. She's used all the cards and used it as lovely strips as well there. We've got a nice little acetate uh, shaker here. So we've got that one from Ruth there. Thank you, Ruth. Let's have a look at another one of Christine's here. Again, Christine likes to trim them away, which you can see just on the edge here but it, it doesn't take anything away from it. So it honestly doesn't matter what you, you can snip bits out of it. You can use the little frames individually, but you can see she's got hugs and kisses and she's cut it out of the, the lovely copper mine there with some nice layers of the other papers and, and glitter cards and very nice. Thanks, Christine. Should we have a look at Christine's last one here? Christine's done more stamping on this one, which is lovely because she's used, not only have you got on your stamps, you've not only got those sentiments, but you've got those little hearts and things, which are very, very pretty. So she's used a lot more of the stamps in this look. And I think she's used the glitter pen. That looks like she's stamped with a glitter pen here, I think. And the ink pad, obviously. Oh, we've got the hearts in the ink pad. And just some of the little elements from the die cuts here. But it's such a lovely effect. Very, very nice. Thanks, Christine. What have we got here? Oh, this is another one by Kate. Now, I really like this. But what, what Kate's done here, rather than use the outer edges, she's just used the verso elements. Because obviously, you I mean, you know now we like to give you so much versatility. We don't just give you a plain die cut. You've always got something that you can cut in. So the Verso die is always cut into your cardstock. So Kate has cut all of these elements in and she's coloured and it, it's just, I think what she's done here, it looks like it's inked. I think Kate's inked on top of the, so she's popped the die cuts on, cut in, but then put the outer edge and inked over the top of it. So you can see here that this is that lovely, um, pearlescent card but then she's added some ink so you've got more of a it, the, the ink has made it more of a brownie around where those are I think that's absolutely stunning it's really really caught my eye and she's just got the one layered sentiment there on the side absolutely beautiful Kate I really like that but all of these cards they've just got so much work in them that you can see what you know, that they, they take care, they really enjoy, you can see that they enjoy them. So we've got Celebrate Friends, Time to Celebrate. This is a lovely one again from Shilpa here. And she's done some layering and popping the bits back in. Um, 
we've got the the versos in here as well and all layered up with a lovely bow lovely lovely cards there thanks for that much over and we've got who have we got this one from this one is ruth ruth has actually cut the outer edge into it you can see there so she's got the layer of card cut the uh, the the main piece in and then cut the main piece again in a different cardstock and pop that into the the aperture that she's created so that's lovely that's a lovely effect there and some stamped and um some little one of the um I can just show you there. You've got these teeny tiny leaves. So that's one of the confettis. It's going to be a, a little leaf. So that, that's an alternative to one of the ones I've already shown you. So Ruth was lucky enough to get the little leaves in hers. So that's a nice one again. So a lovely little effect there, Ruth. Thank you again. And our last one to show you. Oh, a last one from Ruth. Beautiful card here, Ruth, with the um, glitter card. I just love the way the glitter card just shows it up. You know, you've got that opulence, you've got that sheen. It's just giving you some, it's just got the movement in it, haven't you? It's very nice. So you can take a plain white die cut and do so much with it, with a gold card, with a gold glitter. So that's the last one to show you here, all cut in. All very nice, beautiful. It's a nice layer in and die cut in. That's a lovely one there. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you very much. So what do you think of the projects our design team have put together with this kit? I think we've had some absolutely stunning makes. Don't forget to tag us in your makes. The kit's available now on tonic-studios.com. Happy crafting! <laughs>